six year anniversary. You know, it's beautiful, it's lovely. Uh, they about to see, like right here, this is just the renters. You know, everybody come and rent their bikes from the Get Up and Ride Shop, 515 St. Louis, pull up. We got the merch, bikes, tours, everything. But uh, once the rest of the group roll up and we all join as one, you're gonna see how serious it is. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna have a beautiful night. So 2015, we start riding on a Tuesday, you know? Next thing you know, we get hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people rolling, you know? So from there, it just kept building and building. Fast forward six years later, we got the shop, we in the quarters, renting bikes, doing tours. All this bike shit in the city, these lights and this music and all that shit, that shit started with Get Up and Ride. That new body make you happy, get that BBL. You fucking with the big fish, baby, finish scales. I just asked if she done, she tell me D for where. You trying to ride a big boy, where your CD yeah. Got some niggas cook the beef, hit them on the sale. Talking about a good burger on that keen and care. I just pulled up another moving like a snare. Still a member zone prime, how I get the mail. Cop the black Jesus, put the Cuban in the bear. Make money, money, niggas spending like Latrells. How I'm coming, I be shitting like a bag of kale. Fly bitches, tinker bells, getting fairy tale. And my lapel, holy grails, and they know a veil. You know, that, that's a good question, man. I think we just saw them. Walmart was selling them. That's the first time I seen them. They had the wheel brights in Walmart. We were like, man, that's dope. So we put them in the wheels. Next thing you know, we ride by everybody. Oh, where you get them? Where you get them? Where you get them? So then we went and bought them all, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we bought a bunch of bikes from everywhere. Pawn shop, you know, Facebook, wherever. We getting all the bikes, lighting them up, putting the speakers on the back, and we rolling. So now it's, it's, it's beautiful, you know? I got people I see out here, I don't know from nowhere but out here, but they like family when I see them, you know what I'm saying? So now it's just a good vibe, you know? She pop it like we in the blue now. In the Asian spot, they treat me like I'm June tie. Rolling weed on a lap, that's a grass skirt. She tell her home girl, come meet her at the Lou Wow. It's just beautiful, you know what I'm saying? It's my favorite day of the week, you know? No matter what I got going on, no matter how stressed I am, this shit just roll off right here, you know? So in the beginning, I say about, well, actually the second year, like 2016, that's when it really got crazy, man. We had a ride, we had like eight, 900 people, you know? One night, craziness. And at this point, we ain't know the bike rules, the laws, which way to go up, how to turn, none of that. So we was getting a lot of complaints. A lot of people ain't see a, a lot of people ain't like seeing a bunch of niggas on bikes just rolling through the city. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I had to, I had to go to city hall, talk to uh, people about what we're doing. You know, I, all type of just messages, just just evil hateful shit you know but over time they seen that what we had was positive they seen that what we had was magical and then now they doing it you know what i'm saying so you know that's how it go you know but that's cool you know what i'm saying as long as i just like to keep reiterating where it all started you know what i'm saying luckily this is a great venture where multiple people could get their money and grow their business you know what i'm saying so you can't be never be mad at that right we just try to remain the pioneers and stay in front and always innovate and come up with the newest shit. I feel like as us, as a people, we try and stick in certain bubbles, you know, we try and stick in certain like categories, you know, rapper, baller, you know, sports player, you know, but at the end of the day, an entrepreneur is as cool as it gets, you know what I'm saying? Looking at your situation, looking at your environment and saying, this is how I'm going to spread joy and help my people while also maximizing my income and growing to the next level and being able to do what I need to do on my time instead of punching in, you know? So to me, that was the most important thing, you know? What can I create that 
I can do that's mine, you right. know, that I can own and, you know, and me and uh, Nick, Nick Reed, he at the other spot where the, uh, the people who got their own bikes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me and him, we just always just collaborating on just, you know, how, how we can just create more dope shit, you know what I mean?